Sunday in 2020. Come on in, everybody. Get your decaf unsweet iced tea. Let's talk. Let's do a little Q&A. Let's say hey to each other. Maybe we'll sing together. I've been going through this singing to the Lord hymnal, and I'm telling you, this is the one you ought to get if you can find it. This hymnal has got so many good songs. I've been highlighting them, like right off the bat. I want to see if I have this in here in my little where you can sing along. Well, right off the bat, hello, hello. Let me see who's coming in here. Let me look at my, there you are. Hi, welcome. It's Sunday night, 1,500, 1,690. Come on in, y'all. Let's see if we can get it up to 2,000. Share, share, share. If you're watching on Facebook, share. Share it to your page. Share it to every page you can. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, oh, we just crossed the 2,000 mark on all four platforms, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and Twitter. And uh, we're on two Facebook pages. But anyway, on YouTube, listen. Make sure you've subscribed. So many of you have not subscribed. Mm -hmm. Make sure you subscribe and uh, ring that bell. Hello from Norman, Oklahoma, Susan, Belmard Becker, Junior Chapel, J.R. Chapel. I thought I saw someone go by. I thought I saw Dave Pantana, Dave Pantana's wife go flying by, but maybe I didn't. Well, hello, Bonnie Bryant, Lori McLeod, Deidre Bentley, Glenda Glover, Jan Davison from Tip City, Ohio, Rita Smith Kleckler from Moulton, Alabama, Donna Watkins, Pat Barrett. Wow, she says. She's got a picture of her dog. Look at there. I'm going to add her. Look at that. Pat Barrett, and she's got her little chihuahua. Well, <clears throat> I was going to tell you, <clears throat> first of all, sit up straight. If you're like me, you probably haven't. You know, I, I saw church this morning. Oh, Bella just barked at something. Bella, don't you go chase nothing. Y'all, the other night she got out again. I was out to dinner with uh, Colleen, her mother and sister, and Dina calls me. She's visiting Maldell Pointer up in Fort Worth, and she calls me and says, the neighbors have called and said that Bella is at their house. So evidently she'd chase something, but I've got the the uh, doggy door shut so she can't sneak off. I think she's getting senile. She just runs off like she she never used to run off. Her I need to get that doggy call. Look at this shirt I'm wearing. I have the invisible fence for Bella, but it's not on her right now, so that's why she's been sneaking off. Look at I like the shirt, but I have sold the scooters. I'm not a scooter life person anymore, but I love this shirt. I lo it's very comfortable. Um, I should have filled that up before I started. Okay, on page two in this hymnal, right off the bat is, As I journey through the land, singing as I go, Pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow, Many arrows pierce my soul from without within. But my Lord leads me on. Through him I can win. Sing it. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face. There to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice. Do you remember the happy Goodman singing that? I think I do. When before the billows rise. Anyway, that's a good one. And then you go over a couple of pages through a couple of songs I've never heard before. And then, uh, like the great I am or waiting on the Lord, never heard it. No tears in heaven. Never heard that one either. Maybe you know it, but I know this one. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. 
sing with me. For thee, all the follies of sin I resign. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior art Thou. If ever I love Thee, my Jesus, add some reverb, Tis now, I, I reverb all over it, isn't that, my Jesus, tis now, and that, that reverb helps, doesn't it? <clears throat> I love thee because, oh wait, it doesn't have that verse up there. I love thee in life. I will love thee in death and praise thee as long as thou lendest me breath and say when the death do Lies cold on my brow. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. How do I shut you off? Well, you just go to another page, Joan Nelson. Oh, Bella's barking again. Love that song. Don't you love that song, Wilma K. Five? Bella, don't chase nothing. Y'all, God is good, even though we're going through a COVID. And uh, I had a great Christmas. It was just me here. Uh, except I did go eat over at Colleen's niece's house. And that was delicious. We had gumbo. Did you have a good meal? That's one of your favorites, Amy Kaiser. It is mine too. Oh, here's one you might know. More about Jesus would I know. More of his grace to others show. More of his saving fullness see. More of his love who died for me. More, more about Jesus. More, more about Jesus. More of his saving fullness see, more of his love who died for me. You remember that one? Yeah, that's a good one too. We'd sing that on Sunday night. Man, Sunday night was the song service. Oh my goodness, look here. On Two pages, two songs. Jesus, Jesus is all the world to me. Remember that one? My life, my joy, my all. I'm out of, I can't sing tonight, but I had to check in on you. Y'all, it's been a, a, a kind of a lonely time. My old leg's broken, can't get out and go, go places. Colleen was here earlier and she... Made sure I was okay, and then she ran off and ate with her family. So I thought I'd get on here and check with y'all. See how many of y'all are alone tonight, too. Are you? Well, I'm glad you're visiting with me. Why are you sad? Wait, someone said, I'm really sad. I'm sorry. Oh, that's not, I'm really sad. That was Elena, Elena girl. Don't be sad, be glad. It rhymes. <laughs> and someone I that I didn't, oh, yeah, here you go. Heidi Bruhard, you want mansion over the hilltop? Mm, I'm going to have to get that low because I am. I should have filled up my tea. 
I'm satisfied with just a cottage below, a little silver and a little gold. But in that city, but in that city where the ransomed will shine. I want a gold one that silver lined. I've got a mansion just over the hilltop in that bright land where We'll never grow old, never grow old, and someday yonder, we will never more wander, but walk on streets that are purest gold. How many of you grew up singing with that one? I can hear my nanny and papa singing it right now. Oh, thank you. Thanks for spreading the joy. of. Thank you for watching, Denise Wright. Mark, I watched the Gaithers when you took the mic to Danny. And he sang, yes. That was not too long before he passed away. Um, I think the song was The Longer I Since I've Started, The Longer I Serve Him, Since I Started for the Kingdom. And I think Danny sang the verse, Every need he is supplying, plenty of, plenty of grace he bestows every day my way. Gets brighter the longer I serve him, the sweeter he grows. Sing with me. The longer I serve him, the sweeter he grows. And the more that I love him, the more that I love him, more love he bestows. Each day is like heaven. Each day is like heaven. My heart overflows. The longer I serve him, the sweeter he grows. Y'all pray for me because my voice is tired. And I think it's that gab of Penton. Ooh, that popped it, didn't it? That gab of Penton. I'm trying not to take it, but the nerve pain, y'all, and it's, ugh, it's getting worse. I have only taken three today, so y'all pray that I don't take more than that. <laughs> because, you know, I hear you can get addicted to that too, gab of Penton, and I have no intentions of doing that. But my Lord, that nerve pain will take your breath away. Mm. It doesn't warn you that it's coming. That nerve pain does not warn you that it's coming. It doesn't say, hey, I'm coming. You know, Bella's invisible fence, it gives her a little beep, 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 beep before she gets shocked. And that warns her to back up. And the shock doesn't hurt. I hold it, I've held it in my hand, gone up there, and it tingles. Well, it scares those dogs enough to teach them not to run off. Wait, you know, run through the fence, get out of the yard. But anyway, uh, this, but nerve pain, if you've ever had nerve pain, you're in the club because it should be a club. We have a lovely theater downtown Grand Junction. We'll love you to visit post COVID. I want Janet Wagner. How kind of you. I would love that. I bet you do have a nice, lovely theater. There's so many lovely theaters been empty because of this Stinking COVID. This is the first time my sister... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, where did it go? Gabapentin helped with pain throughout my chemo treatment. Oh, Pamela. You didn't get addicted, though, did you? 
I do know in the garden, Carrie, you got to sing it with me, though. This is a group effort. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ear the Son of God discloses sing it with me and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known. My dad loves that song too. That's his favorite hymn. And I always, when I was growing up, I thought that was the sappiest song, you know. But the older I get, I guess I'm becoming sappy because I love that. And the, because I didn't understand that part about. You know, uh, and the voice I hear falling on my ear, uh, the Son of God discloses like a voice I've never known. Because back when I first met the Lord, I didn't really know his voice. And I'm not too sure I know it now. But I do, uh, when I'm in the shower and I'm praying and I feel the Spirit come over me, you know, and, and, um, and the water's falling down on me. And I'm praying and the Lord will plant something in my brain or give me an idea. I think that's the Lord. He sounds a lot like me. He's got a Texas accent. In case you didn't know that. Probably if you live in Australia, he has an Australian accent. <laughs> because I think the Lord talks to us in our language, don't you? In our, even in our accent. Why not? He's God. Yes, my mouth feels like the Sahara Desert, Sharon Buku shivers. Gabba does that, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But boy, if it takes the pain away, you can just have to put up with my hoarse voice. Because right now, I don't know if it's because I'm talking to you and I'm doing something I love, which is singing with you all how many of you are up? We are doing good. We're almost, look at 2,685 or in my little independent fundamental Bible-believing, Bible-banging fundamental Baptist church, just like I grew up in, but we're not near as mean. You know, we could get a little mean back in the day. Oh, if your hair touched your ears, if you were a guy, though, the preachers, they'd make you feel awful, you know, but we don't care about that. Oh, we, can, we even let Catholics come in here and sing. <laughs> I know I've got a whole bunch of y'all Catholics watching me. Nerve pain is the worst, Pamela Milner. See, this kind of thing is perfect for me. I go from nerve pain to whatever we were just talking about. Oh, my Savior, first of all. And see, in the comments... How about my Savior, first of all, Fanny Crosby? It goes, when my life work is ended and I cross the swelling tide. Oh, I love this one. When, my, when the bright and more glorious morning. And what's it called? My Savior. Is that what it's called? I thought it was called I Shall Know Him. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's in this hymnal. I don't have words for y'all, though, but I'm going to sing it because I love this song. Do you know the story behind this song? I shall know him. Now, it should have been called. Let me tell you something. This is a very good example of bad titling. Obviously, this song should have been called I Shall Know Him. 
because the chorus is, I shall know him, I shall know him. Oh, Fanny Crosby, she did it again. Sing it with me on the chorus if you don't know the verses. When my life work, I, I shall know him. Yeah, that's not going to be too hard. When my life work is ended and I cross the... Sw oh, I got to tell you, first of all, how this song came about. Okay, I hear... <laughs> That's me imitating my old friend, Norman Holland. He'd always go, I hear, because he was from Geneva, Alabama. And the little old gossiping ladies in his church, he said, would say, hush, what? Hush, what? As they gossip. Okay, back to this. Fanny Crosby was being led down the street, and she's blind, right? And I hear she heard... A man on the corner, street corner, saying, I have come back. I'm Jesus. I'm here. I am your Savior. I've come back to earth, or whatever he was saying. He was claiming to be Jesus. Well, Fanny said, take me over to him. And so whoever was leading her down the road led her over to this gentleman claiming to be Jesus. And she said, let me feel your hands. And so she took his hands, and she felt and she said, oh, you're not my Jesus. You have no nail prints in your hands. And she went home and wrote this. When my life work is ended and I cross the swelling tide, when the bright and glorious morning I shall see, I shall know my Redeemer when I reach the other side, for his smile will be the first to welcome me. I shall know him, I shall know him. As redeemed by his side, I shall stand. I shall know him, I shall know him by the print of the nails in his hands. Isn't that a good one? Through the gates to the city in a robe of spotless white. He will lead me where no tears shall ever fall. In the glad song of ages, I shall mingle with delight. But I long to meet my Savior first of all. I shall know him, I shall know him. As redeemed by his side, I shall stand. Sing, y'all. I shall know him, I shall know him by the prince of the nails in his hands. Okay, someone said volume. Was the volume? Does everyone have volume? Oh, Wendy Lumsden, you don't have volume? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I think you can. Hi from Weatherford, Texas. Oh, may you please do Amazing Grace. We might. Perfect. Isn't that a good song, Kim Wagner? I shall know him. Think about that, y'all. When you cross the swelling tide, I love Fanny's lyrics. Oh, the soul-thrilling rapture when I view his blessed face. Listen to these words. And the luster of his kindly beaming eye. Hopefully he'll have two. But she said, I. How my full heart will praise him for the mercy, love, and grace that prepares for me a mansion in the sky. Third verse, oh, the dear ones in glory, how they beckon me to come and our parting at the river, I recall. To the sweet vales of Eden, they will sing my welcome home, but I long to meet my Savior, first of all. Me too, Fanny. You know, 
uh, brother Brett Jones, my pastor, told his little brother, Scott, years ago, oh, I need some iced tea, y'all. That gabapentin has got me dry as a bone. Um, he said when he gets to heaven that he told his little brother, just go to the first time. When you get through the pearly gates at the first right, stand there and wait for me. I said, not me. Can you imagine getting to heaven? Okay, I'm going to go take my first right. I'm not going to go see Jesus. I'm going to sit here and wait on Brett. Brett, I bet you he won't be there. I bet you Scott will make a beeline for the throne. Matthew 24, okay, I'll go read that. What is it about? Matthew 24, Teresa Mallow says, do you know my uh, anchor holds? Hope you're feeling better. I am feeling better. Let me tell you, <clears throat> except for the nerve pain, this is a beautiful, it's not hard. I'll show you. I don't keep my leg in the, uh, in the boot when I'm home, but here's a scar. You know, I've got scars. I've got battle scars, you know. These feet are so tired of carrying the gospel. <laughs> No, they aren't either. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. Uh-oh, that yellow's not showing. Look there. That's I, I highlighted this in yellow, and look how the green screen does it. For thee, all the follies of sin I resign. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior art Thou. If ever I love Thee, my Jesus, is now is that a backdrop or are you really in a chapel no it's a backdrop so you don't have to look at my bed see i i had a tough that's a, that's one night i had a real t rough night last night tore that bed apart and i gotta put it back together before i crawl in there because it doesn't make sense when a bed's that unmade so yes, that is a backdrop, but I love it because it reminds me of the church I grew up in, except the Greenwood Village Baptist Church was a little bigger, but it had those side things coming down and then a little aisle beyond that and it had pews and it had red hymnals in the back and the little love offering cards next to that. And down at the front, there was a Lord's Supper table and a, oh, a cross and all that, you know, baptismal waters right up there. Now churches don't even have baptistries. They have to build it every time they want to baptize somebody. We had it built in like down there underneath that cross. Oh, here's one you might know if you're raised Baptist or maybe even Methodist. Who knows? More about Jesus would I know. More of his grace to others show. More of his, <clears throat> excuse me, more of his saving fullness see. More of his love who died for me. More, more about Jesus. More, more about Jesus. More of his saving fullness see, more of his love who died for me. I love that one. That's a good one. Let me see what you are saying. Thanks for sharing your talents with you. Really, thank you, Miriam Patton. That's very kind. If heaven was a two by two square, well, what, Joseph? Depends on how big that square is, right? Did it warm there or do you wear shorts year round? You know what? It's pretty warm here right now. Of course, I really haven't been outside today. I've been inside. How's your leg today? Walking on it yet. Jan Pool, my leg is getting better. There's a lot of nerve damage. And if y'all, if you pray for me for anything, it's just, Lord, 
heal him of all that nerve damage. But I hear it'll get better. You know, uh, nerves heal about an inch a month. That's what I've heard. You know, but who knows? I just don't want to be on gabapentin for long. That's a Nazarene song. Well, good. More about Jesus. Okay, y'all, if you, if you want to hang on, I'm going to go get me some iced tea. I have to have it. And you might go to the, you know, this is, consider this an intermission and go to the potty. I'll be right back. Well, more of his saving fullness see, more of his love to die uh -oh, for me. More, uh -uh, more about Jesus. More, more about Jesus. Talk amongst yourselves. More of his saving for the sea. More of his love to die for me. More about Jesus. Hey, listen, I recently, I'm back, I recently saw some more of those frauds on my page. There may be some in here right now in the comment section. Be careful. When someone says, it says it's Mark Lowry, and then they have a little thing at the top, which proves it's, you know, because they can't take my name, my name on uh, Facebook or YouTube, but I've seen this on Facebook where they'll say, come over to this page and, and you win, you win. Well, that ain't me. That's not me. That's fraudulent. It doesn't have the blue check mark by it either. Ooh, who's that? Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, don't you love this? It's almost like we're FaceTiming, 2,578 of y'all. What do y'all want to sing? What do you want to talk about? Someone said Matthew 24. You want to read that? As long as we don't hear any tinkling. This is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> oh, you meant to see what you said. Donna Latham. Yeah, that would have been bad if I'd gone to the restroom. You'd have heard me flush and all. That would have been a little rude. Uh, I pray your nerve issues are temporary. Thank you, Renee Kendall. Thank God bless you. Because I'm in for the long haul with permanent nerve damage after injuring my ankle 12 years ago and five surgeries later. No, I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord, please help Renee's leg, too. You, oh, my goodness, Renee. Bless your heart. Uh, are you going to do more concerts, Sandra Welch? I might. I don't have any plans right now because of COVID, you know. Um. But I might someday. I'm sure I will. Good night. I'm not. I'm too young to quit yet. I'm 62, but that's not that old. How about have a little talk with Jesus? How about David Dalton singing with me on that? Well, I once. Oh, do I have that? Have a little talk with Jesus. Let me see if I have that. Have a little talk with Jesus. I bet I don't. I do. Can you believe it? I actually had this. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. 
Well, he bathed my heart in love, and he wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus makes me whole. And now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry, and he will answer by and by. And when you feel a little prayer will turn, and you will know a little fire is burning, you will find a little talk with Jesus. Jesus makes it right. Is that right? I don't know if I'm singing that correctly. <clears throat> well, I may have doubt and fears. My eyes be filled with tears. But Jesus is a friend who watches day and night. Well, I go to him in prayer. He knows my every care. And just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. And now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry. And he will answer by and by. And when you hear a little prayer will turn in, you will know a little fire is burning. You will find a little little talk with Jesus makes it right. Oh, it makes it right. I need a quartet on that one. You got to have all those parts, David. Or were you singing? I hope you were. Uh, you're crazy, but love you. Thank you, Bob Child. You need to put your picture in there so we see what you look like. Pee like a racehorse. That's right, Susan. <laughs> Sue, Susie Pennyac. Susie Penny. Is that how you, how you? Wow. I wish y'all could talk back to me so I could hear how you pronounce these names. We have already sung in the garden about 30 minutes ago. You're late. <laughs> No, you're not late. I didn't let anybody know I was going live. Philippians 2, 10, and 11. All right, I'm going to look that up because um, I want to do that. And someone else a while ago said Matthew 24. Go to BibleGateway.com. Okay, here we go. Bible Gateway. And we're going to look up, because we got nothing to do, Philippians 2, 10. And, uh, well, if I can get it to obey me. Here we go. Philippians 2. Let's just go there and I'll look up 10. 210. What's she saying? Someone put the dearest friend. No, wait, 210. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Isn't that great? Won't that be fun? I mean, who wouldn't want to? When you see him in all his love and majesty and glory, and you, it'd be so easy to fall on your knees and, and worship him. Yeah, that's a good one. Thank you for that one. Philippians 2, 10 and 11. Well, make sure I got 11. And every yeah, tongue shall confess that Jesus... I love that scripture. That's a good one, Jesus is Lord. It took a miracle to da-da-da-da-da. It took a miracle. <laughs> but when he saved my soul... Cleansed and made, oh, I'm break, I'm sure I'm breaking up. Cleansed and made me whole. It took a miracle of love and grace. Isn't that way that goes? Something like that. You've got your unsweet tea, Hannah. Good for you, Hannah. See, it's better for you. It doesn't rot your teeth. Do I experience side effects? Just... A cotton mouth is the only side effects I've felt so far. I don't know what could be addictive about it. It does take the uh, nerve pain. It settles that nerve pain down because the nerve pain is like a 220-volt shock on your ankle, and it makes me jerk. And Oh, it's horrible. 
hate it. Yeah, my baptism pool is empty. Okay. I pray. Thank you, Deb Mays Davis. Uh, we need victory in Jesus. Well, we do have victory in Jesus. We need to know that we have victory. Well, I heard an old, old story. How a Savior came from glory. How he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. And then, what? And then I cried. That's not right. I'm messing up, y'all. I have lost my mind, which is fine. What else is there to do? QRSTUV, here it is. Victory in Jesus. Uh, I gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. And I heard about his groaning of his precious blood's atoning. And then I repented of my sin and won the victory. Sing, y'all. Oh, victory in Jesus my Savior forever. Well, he sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him and all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory Beneath the cleansing flood. That is a good one. Oh, yes. My preacher, Brother Clayton, he loved that song. Oh, there they are. See what you are saying. So then she spotted me in the... <laughs> You're right. Jordan Benefield. That's what Mama did. Keep, oh, okay, what else y'all saying? Uh, Philippians 4.4, 4, you want to read that too? I'll read that later. Someone said Matthew 24. I think that's where Jesus chews all the religious folks out, isn't it? Let me go look. Let's see, Matthew 24. Somebody, I saw that go by a minute ago. I'll read the Bible with y'all if you want to read it. I love that. As Jesus was leaving the temple grounds, his disciples came along and wanted to take him on a tour of the various temple buildings. But he told them, all these buildings will be knocked down with not one stone left on top of another. When will this happen? The disciples asked him later as he sat on the slopes of the Mount of Olives. Quote, what events will signal your return and the end of the world? Jesus told them, don't let anyone fool you. Many will come claiming to be the Messiah and will lead many astray. When you hear of wars beginning, this does not signal my return. These must come, but the end is not yet. The nations and kingdoms of the earth will rise against each other and there will be famines and earthquakes in many places. But all this will be only the beginning of the horrors to come. Ooh. Told the prophet standing in a holy place. Note to the reader, you know what is meant. I need to go back and read this later. This is serious, isn't it? So if someone tells you the Messiah has returned and is out in the desert, don't bother to go look or that he is hiding at a certain place, don't believe it. For as the lightning flashes across the sky from east to west, so shall my coming be when I, the Messiah, return. And wherever the carcass is, there the vultures will gather. Really? Hmm. Anybody got any happy scriptures? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, I don't know what's going on with your comments either, Krista Brewer, but 
my favorite video of the song just a little talk with jesus oh that's a now let us have a little talk with jesus let us tell him all about our trouble he will hear our faintest cry that's one you got to have a whole group to to a whole group john three sixteen. i know that one for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. <clears throat> Psalm 100 is happy. Let's go see if Psalm 100. Joyce Stewart told me that Psalm 100 is happy. So we're going to go look. David must have been in a good mood that day when he wrote that one. Psalm 100, how long is it? We don't have all night. I like those short psalms, don't you? Let's see how long. Oh, it's short. Good night. It's four verses. That's nothing. Shout with joy before the Lord, O earth. Obey him gladly. Come before him singing with joy. Try to realize what this means. The Lord is God. He made us. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Go through his open gates with great thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is always good. He is always loving and kind. And his faithfulness goes on and on to each succeeding generation. Yes, ma'am. That's a good one. Should we read that again? That gave me chills. Thank the Lord. And that's what we've been doing here tonight, right? We've been singing. You've been singing. I've been singing. And uh, 2,463 of us, can you imagine if we were all in a room together, really together and singing like we've been doing tonight, the sound that the fathers heard it, and he liked it. He loves your singing. You say, oh, I'm awful. Well, you know what? He doesn't think so. He, he thinks you're singing. He loves it when you make a joyful noise. As long as it's joyful, it doesn't matter what kind of noise it is. Psalm 121, someone suggested. Is that another short one? Let's go see. Psalm 121. Hold on. This is fun. I love Psalm. Some... Oh, I guess I better go. Bella? Shall I look to the mountain gods? Shall I look to the mountain gods for help? No, my help is from Jehovah, who made the mountains and the heavens too. He will never let me stumble, slip, or fall, for He is always watching and never sleeping. That's a good one. All right, y'all. I'm not going to read all that. Oh, it's only two more verses. Jehovah Himself is caring for you. He is your defender. He protects you day and night. He keeps you from all evil and preserves your life. He keeps his eye upon you as you come and go and always guards you. I love that one too. You know, I've always said he's watching everything you do because he loves you so much he can't take his eyes off you. You are the apple of his eye and don't forget it. Okay, I love you all. I'll see you when I see you.